take a deep breath in. And as you breathe in, breathe in a resourceful feeling of relaxation. And as you exhale, just allow any feelings of tension or stress to feel like it's leaving your body and your outward breath. That's it. Breathing in and breathing out, relaxing your eyelids. With your eyes closed, just notice you can become more aware of the speed of your breathing. As your breathing slows down and your breathing gets deeper in and out, I want you to imagine that bright, vibrant color that represents resourceful relaxation going in through your nose, filling your lungs, starting to relax and release all the tension in your body. And as you breathe out, just imagine that bright, vibrant color that you breathed in is now a gray, darker color that your outward breath represents the tension, stress and anxiety that is leaving your body. Breathing in resources and breathing out tension, enabling you to feel deeper and deeper relaxed. And scan your body for where tension is. Because it could be your neck and your shoulders. Could be your forehead or your jaw. There could be muscles that are tense that you didn't even realize are tensing right now. So as you breathe in and breathe out, just feel so deeply relaxed. That's it. Allow your outward breath to elongate. Imagine that tension and stress is breathing out as you exhale. So by extending the exhale, more of that tension and stress and anxieties are leaving your body and more of that vibrant feeling of resourceful relaxation is going in, enabling you to feel deeper and deeper relaxed. I want you to use the power of your imagination to imagine a beach on Mexico. Perhaps you can imagine just seeing it from above, seeing the white sands, the crystal clear waters, and just imagine you're swooping down and landing there on that beach, wearing whatever clothing is appropriate to be on that beach. Imagine how you would feel if you could feel the warmth of the sun on your skin and slow down your breathing to be just as relaxed as you would be relaxing on a beach. Breathing in and breathing out. I want you to imagine that any tension locked in your muscle tissue are like crystals of ice. And that as you breathe in and breathe out under the heat of the Mexican sun, it's melting away that tension. And you can feel more and more relaxed just by being there on a beach, in the sun, under the blue skies. And I want you to recall how you thought back then, what your inner dialogue was like, to feel what it would feel like to connect with thinking normally, having that balance. Imagine reactivating those neural pathways that accepted that death happens to all of us, but it doesn't serve anyone to think about death all the time. There is no delusion that you're immortal, but at the same time, understanding is not helpful to dwell on the idea of death. And as your unconscious connects with the feeling of restoring harmony, let me know by nodding your head. That's it. Reactivate those neural pathways because... You couldn't forget how to walk if you tried. You'll never forget how to talk or read. Those neural pathways just exist. 
and the neural pathways that exist that have the harmonious balance of acknowledging your mortality but not dwelling on your mortality can also never be forgotten and as you restore those feelings of harmony I want you to imagine there is a very comfortable chair there on that beach in Mexico imagine sitting on that comfortable chair even if it's a comfortable chair that shouldn't be on a beach imagine it's there and just imagine sitting on that comfortable chair allowing your body to sink into the chair as I count down from 10 to 1 with each descending number you're going to feel deeper and deeper relaxed there on that beach in Mexico feeling wonderful 10 eyelids feeling heavier and heavier 9 any tension in your forehead those muscles responsible for facial expressions like concern or surprise just relax those muscles now 8 releasing any tension in your jaw 7 as you breathe in everything from your nostrils your windpipe into your lungs allow it all to relax enabling you to breathe deeper and deeper feeling so relaxed six allow that relaxation to spread into your neck and your shoulders and then five into your arms your arms just feel so limp loose and heavy like the limbs of a puppet with no strings that's it deeper and deeper relax and then four all of your internal organs start to relax heart lungs stomach diaphragm all relax and then three going into your gut the source of anxiety allow the anxiety to be released leaving your body two legs getting heavier and heavier limp loose and heavy there in that chair on that beach and then one i want you to imagine drifting off into your own imagination so that your physical body feels like it's sleeping on that chair on that beach and your imagination your imagination that wants a future full of joy full of meaning continues to walk down that beach looking back seeing your physical body in that chair as your imagination can walk down the beach walk into the water and feel ready for powerful changes to take place and if your unconscious mind is ready to work with a part that's been trying to be helpful but causing problems and sadness to create positive powerful useful change let me know by nodding your head that's it every breath you take brings you closer to your purpose leading you to make a positive impact on the world with each moment of reflection you feel a growing desire to contribute and share your unique gifts with the world life itself offers endless opportunities to touch lives and you find joy in embracing these chances to make a difference you have a voice powerful and resonant capable of spreading happiness hope and positive change and what if every thought about life's impermanence fuels your passion to make each day count making meaningful contributions any past unease or dread is now transformed into a radiant energy driving you to uplift and inspire others recognize that life's true essence is not about the end but the journey and the positive ripples you create along the way The mere thought of life's fleeting nature now serves as a beacon 
guiding you towards impactful actions and kind deeds. Your unconscious mind is recalibrating, turning any somber thoughts into potent reminders to cherish life and to make your mark. From this point onwards, intrusive thoughts are now signposts pointing you towards avenues where you can be of service, bring joy, and create lasting change. And from this point onwards, whenever you think of life's fragility, it becomes a call urging you to spread love, compassion, and understanding. And the voice responsible for those thoughts of death and the cause of dread itself will be more compassionate, kind and understanding. It never meant to hurt you. It only ever wanted you to tap into your meaning, your purpose, to do what you can only do when you're alive. To accept there will be a day when you're not here and therefore to make the most of life that you have. So allow that part to be an ally, not an enemy. To be a voice of inspiration, encouragement and help rather than doom and dread. You realize that the most profound legacy you can leave is the positive impact you've made in the hearts of others. So instead of dwelling on the inevitable, your mind focuses on the present, on ways you can enlighten, help and heal. And I wonder what would happen if you believed that life is a canvas and with every act of kindness You paint a vibrant stroke of positive impact. From this point onwards, any momentary thoughts of life's end are swiftly replaced by visions of the endless possibilities to make a difference. Because you are a beacon of light, dispelling shadows of doubt and fear, illuminating the world with your positive intentions. Your heart resonates with the desire to leave footprints of kindness, understanding and love wherever you go. And any fleeting thoughts of mortality now serve as a reminder of the urgency to be a force for good in the world. That the black hole of doom and dread represented a life of you not having impact. So the more impact you have on the world, the naturally that black hole transforms into a paradise of lightness and brightness, the legacy you're having on the world. So with every day, you feel an unwavering commitment to turning life's moments into opportunities for positive contribution. And if your unconscious mind is now ready to once again embrace the gift of life, to move forward with a renewed purpose, eager to use your voice and actions for the greater good, just let me know by nodding your head. And if that part responsible for those incessant, intrusive thoughts is now willing to be an ally, a voice of encouragement and inspiration, again, let me know by nodding your head. And I want you to think of maybe just two or three things you could do immediately to solidify this alliance to reassure both parts that 
there is a bright, wonderful future ahead of you to take the finality of life as a scarce resource to turn it into something wonderful. And perhaps you could imagine using your voice for good, creating something that people all around the world will see. And if you can think of just two or three things you could do to get the ball rolling in this new direction, let me know by nodding your head. And you will solidify this new agreement between your conscious and unconscious by simply doing these things that you've been inspired to do. In doing so, you will reassure the part that values the urgency of life, facilitating a powerful partnership that enhances the quality of your life. So breathe in and breathe out and imagine now walking back down that beach and seeing someone that looks just like you in a chair, fast asleep. Maybe this represents the old you or even your conscious mind, but imagine stepping into that version of you. So the new and the old are now all updating, recalibrating, having the ideal balance of accepting the finality of life, but seeing it as a wonderful resource to have a positive impact on the world. I want you to imagine getting up out of that chair on the beach and feel yourself floating upwards all the way to your present body, acknowledging that this has been an adventure in your mind, thoughts within thoughts, ideas within ideas, dreams within dreams, to reactivate old neural pathways and to create new ones, to give you a life of joy once again. As you return to the present, take a deep breath in through your nose and out through your nose. Just wiggle your fingers, wiggle your toes, connecting fully in the present right now as I now count from one to ten to awaken you. You will awaken feeling resourceful, inspired, motivated, feeling that the conflict of the past has now been replaced with harmony deep within your unconscious mind, a harmonious relationship that you're willing to cultivate by doing what's necessary to show that you are listening to your intuition and your unconscious starting to count to awaken you. One, two, three, waking up. Four, five, six, more alert. Seven, eight, open your eyes, open your eyes. Nine, ten, wide awake, wide awake, wide awake.